Wow, that was weird. If you guys know my camera, yeah. Anywho, hey, all you viewers to play later, how we doing today? Man, I have got something really, really cool for you. Have you ever just gotten into the hobby and went, man, I wish there was a kit that had, like, whoops, paints, paintbrushes, you know, the sprue clippers, everything? We got you covered. Oh, yeah, we got you covered. Got this little bad boy in from the Army Painter. It is their basic hobby collection. Let's get the adulting out of the way, okay? Uh, come on, come on. You know, if I was a little bit more prepared, I might have that ready, right? But, you know, it's just me. So this might be a perfect time to hear a word from our unofficial sponsor. Well, hey, everyone. Do you want to take your grooming needs to the next level? Man, we got something really, really cool for you. Seriously. There's going to be a link down below in the description box of our unofficial sponsor of the channel, Alley Cat Beard Co. You guys know when you're at your local gaming store, a tournament, or the ever-popular LVO, there is always somebody out there who's got that Nurgle's rot. Man, Alley Cat can get you up to a wonderful Slanishian pleasure place. Seriously, they got you covered from beard oil, beard butter, face wash, body wash, beard wash, beard conditioner, and a whole bunch of other incredible products. Click the link down below. Support an incredible company that can make your life go to the next level. Guys, seriously, we are so thrilled to have Alley Cat on board, you know, as an unofficial member of the TCT BNL Wargaming team. Check them out. I'm going to leave links, like I said, down below in the uh, description box. They are well worth your time, your money, and it will take your grooming game to an entirely different level. Now, as I said, let's get the adulting out of the way. Currently, as of Sunday, February 26th, 2023, it is currently $98.00. On Amazon, it is Prime eligible. All right, now that the adult thing's out of the way, let's have some fun. You get essentially every freaking thing you need in here to build a miniature, paint a miniature, and just get moving forward. It comes with their usual, you know, the little hobby guide. Their, um, oh, nice. Now they've got dice. I didn't know the Army Painter had dice. Sweet. Good job, guys. Comes with their usual, like, little catalog of everything they've got. But still, let's get into the fun parts, right? Now, <laughs> I cannot say enough great things about tufts. You can never, ever, ever have enough. Mix and match and make the vegetation look a little bit differently. I usually put between two to three on every um, Games Workshop base that I do for the figures. The Terminators may get more with the bigger ones. These things are invaluable. A little bit of white glue, dip it, put it right on the bottom. Even though it says it is self-adhering, trust me, that little bit of white glue is going to help you out immensely in the long run. I did a video on this before about making a very, very simple base for your miniatures. You can just go ahead and search and check that out. Bunch of brown battlefield sand. This stuff is invaluable. It really, really, truly is. I know it's basic and everybody wants real big fancy bases and 3D printed stuff. But with a little bit of work, you can take that simple sand and make it look like something phenomenal. Okay. You guys didn't even... That. Okay, there it is. Sorry. They're um, exacto knives. And yeah, it's got a blade in there. I just didn't see it right away with some of the shadows. So there you go. For scraping mold lines and everything else, invaluable tool. Speaking of mold lines... You know, the plastic cutters, the plastic frame cutter. I like this one a lot better than their other one that's kind of like a friction thing. This thing is beautiful, this thing is invaluable, and man, seriously, like with four items already, you're getting a lot just to get your miniature ready to go. And speaking of miniatures ready to go, you may need files. Clean up those little itty bitty mold lines in other areas, or if you're doing conversions, or is it called now kit bashing? Files. They are handy dandy to have. They really truly are. Alright, where'd you go? You get super glue, which is vastly, vastly different than their plastic glue. I love this plastic glue. I seriously do. I think it's some of the best ever in the business. But the super glue, uh, I'm wondering if it's gel. It's more for like resin and some heavy duty, like metal on metal kind of stuff. But still, not bad. You get. Seriously, frame cutters, you know, hobby knife, um, basing, just wow, you're getting everything to get everything up and go. I'll get to this in a moment. 
you get something that to me is really, really, really invaluable. The little, you know, as they call it, the self-repairing cutting mat. Or you put it down under your miniatures while you're painting and don't get stuff all over your better half's nice dining room table. Ooh, oopsie. As you can hear the rolling in the box. Come on. All right, I can move that now. You get two paintbrushes. I got a precise detail and ooh, get your butt back on there and a base coating brush. You can never, ever, 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 ever have too many really, really good paint brushes to work with. And speaking of paint brushes, you're gonna need something to put those on. We'll dip them into and get ready to move them on, right? Paints. Let's see what we got. Matte black, always good to have. Leather brown, not bad. A pure red. Might have to work that in with a project I'm working on, see how that works out. <laughs> For the oxes, the green skin, which is going to make my son happy because we just got a bunch of stuff for Kill Team. Yeah, we're starting that up here. Um, and he's being the oxes. A matte white. I know, real basic, but if you think about it, it's a starter kit, so that's good. Barbarian flesh, I think I've got that one already. <laughs> Demonic yellow. And nope, no mixing balls in there, but I can fix that. Ultramarine blue. Oh, what's that? Plate mail, plate mail metal. Metallics are always, always good to have. Always, always good. Ooh. What? Nope, no balls. Strong tone wash. I love that. I seriously love their tones. It's one of like my last stages now in painting. I'll go over it with a, like a strong tone or a mid-tone wash. And it just, it, it, it tends to bring out some stuff in the miniature, which I really, truly like. Okay, skeleton bone. Man, I'm like running out of room. <laughs> Soft tone. Oh, this stuff is gold. Brush on primer. Um, in a video I just released recently for my Karn the Betrayer, this thing was a lifesaver. I seriously thought I screwed that miniature up by using an off-brand primer. Ooh, that brush-on primer is good stuff. Alien purple. Dark tone. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Mythical orange. You can never have too many oranges when you're working with reds. It just, it brings out a whole nother definition to me. It just really, really does. Uniform gray. Oh, hey. And I shine. Matte varnish. I've never done paint on varnish before. I'm usually the idiot outside and trying to figure out which way the wind patterns are going with the rattle can. <laughs> Greedy gold. And last. Shining silver. Guys. My mind is kind of blown. Okay, for, if you part everything out for price point, the paint alone is going to run you damn near 100 bucks. You are getting a full and complete wargaming kit. You know, get yourself started in the miniature wargaming hobby, which, by the way, you really should because it's a wonderful thing. It'll become more addictive than coffee, and you'll have really, really good times bonding with your buddies. You get everything you need in one kit to get up and get going. They gave you 20 great base paints to build your palette on. You've got brushes, you've got vials, you've got you know sprue clippers, you've got basing material. You got everything you need in a one-stop shop. Now we're at the best part of the video for me. Seriously, I love this part in every single video I do. I wanna know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Have you had this kit from the Army Painter before? Do you use Army Painter product, you know, products? I'll admit some of their paints I've had some issues with figuring them out. Others have been perfect right out of the dropper top. I love, like I said, their plastic glue. I think it's some of the best on the planet. I use their brushes pretty much with every single miniature I do. I really don't use Citadel brushes anymore. I used to use Winsor Newton Series 7s, but I've been hooked on you know, the army painter brushes. Now, 
If it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. Here, let me hold this up so I can have an object. My quick unboxing of the Army Painter Basic... What is it? Hobby. You know, Basic Hobby Collection. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and I look forward one day to meeting all of you across the tabletop.